The most requested video that you've been asking for on our YouTube channel is actually a tour of our own home. So that's why today, on a very special episode of Barely Million Dollar Tours, I'll be taking you through a property that my family and I have been calling home for the past nine years. I'll share with you why we chose this property, plus all of the work that we had to do to make it our own, and now why, sadly, it's time for us to say goodbye. So we live on a pretty typical little cul-de-sac up here in Rocky Ridge, no different than something you'd find throughout the city. Now the house itself, it didn't really stand out, but recently we did some updates just to make it a little bit more modern. A new front door, a new garage door, we painted the siding and we added some black metal pop above the garage. I love how it looks and it was a great reminder that you don't need to live in the estates area or spend millions of dollars to have a nice modern home. But really, it was this lot that we fell in love with. Over 6,700 square feet, backing out onto a valley with mountain views from all three levels of this home. We've spent so much time back here. We've entertained, we've had the kids' parties, we've even tented in that backyard. That little bit of space it gave us from our neighbors gave us this sense that we were living in a much larger home. We loved it back here and we did some cool renovations as well. We added steps along the side of the house, beautiful garden boxes, a little hot tub back out here, and then a concrete patio below. So as much as we've loved this lot and all the work that we've done to make this area super special and even its location so close to the Bears Paw Golf Course, the land is one of the reasons why we're moving. We found something that's gonna even work better for our family. But it will be hard to leave this space, especially this little $60 hammock. Just, it seems like a small thing, but between it and my daughter's playset back here, I don't know, so many great memories. So today's tour, it's gonna be a little bit different because this home's actually not for sale. We already sold it off market to some clients of ours. We're sad to say that this is actually gonna mark the beginning of our move away from Calgary. I know, this house has been such a huge part of our lives for the past nine years. We've made so many memories with the kids, with our friends, so it's gonna be hard to leave. That's right, and it's not just my story to tell, so that's why Tila and the kids, they're gonna join me as we share with you the story of our home. So when Tila and I first got to Calgary 22 years ago, we were newlyweds, we were just a couple of prairie kids, and we rented on the west side of the city. After a few years, we bought our first property. Now, after 19 years of home ownership, we've bought and sold four different properties. So we got to the point where we finally found a home that we loved. And when we first saw this home, not many people really were attracted to it at all, but we saw its potential. The home had good bones, and bones was all we could really afford. We were looking for a home that really had a lot of natural light. We were also looking for a property that felt like it was a little bit different. And I can tell you, being a realtor, I've been in a lot of different homes, but so few of them have a unique layout. So a couple of things that we fell in love with right off the bat was this stairwell. It had these really wide stairs. I'd never really seen anything like that, so it just kind of set itself apart. It also had a two-story living room, but not the entire living room, and it was just enough to mean that we could get this nice, huge window in here that let in all that natural light. Now, the property also faces south by southwest, and because of that, we get a lot of light into the backyard and we even get mountain views from all three floors of this home. But it looked nothing like this inside. In fact, it was a very builder standard home, nothing very special. So we knew we were gonna have to make some big changes if we wanted to make it our own. We didn't have the budget for that, so we had to pick a design that we could achieve with not a lot of investment. For me, it was super important to have a big open kitchen and the original did not have that. We had a small little pantry off to the corner and then these tiny little cabinets. There wasn't a lot of storage space. So we had a big job ahead of us, but I'm really, really happy with the design. So I love the countertops and the faucet, but so much of our living in this house happens right here. That's right, we love entertaining. We love having family and friends over. And between that dining room space and this island, 
feel like we've created so many great memories. But it's the little things like the kids waking up in the morning and having their breakfast and getting ready to tell us what they want to do that day. Yeah, I can almost hear Lachlan right now saying, Mom, Avalon hit me. So years ago, when I actually came up with the design for this living room wall, I had a renovation and design company and I loved challenges like this. We didn't have a lot of money, but we had a lot of space to cover and we had to kind of solve some of the problems that the original home had. One of them was a corner gas fireplace. Like no one liked corner gas fireplaces. So I wanted to actually move it more central. That way we could actually gather around it more typical to a traditional home. But we had all this light from this two-story window and I wanted you to actually draw your eye up. So we had to cover this two-story wall with some sort of feature, but we didn't have any money to do it. So we just took $30 sheets of MDF, we cut them in half and then we stacked them. It created this really cool panel design that actually we get so many compliments on and it was one of the most economically effective things for us to do. The other cool part of this design is I think this mantle. It's all walnut, it kind of makes it feel modern but still kind of grounded with natural materials. And we added in a little routered edge in both spots here where we could add LED strip lighting. So at night or first thing in the morning on a wintry morning, you grab your coffee, you turn them on, it's a total vibe. Okay, welcome to my home office. This is actually located right near the front entrance, so it's kind of away from the rest of the home. About eight years ago, I put together this design and to this day, I still absolutely love it. You probably even recognize it because this has actually been the YouTube set for many of the different videos that we've featured on our channel. So as much as I love it, I don't actually even work from this side. I work from over here. This is like a really basic desk. This is my little YouTube studio setup. And it works so well because that is way more interesting as a backdrop. If you really have watched our channel over the years, you'll notice that we've used our entire house as sets for different videos. Our living room, that loft area upstairs, and even our basement. Welcome to my favorite room, the primary suite. That's right, this is where the magic happens. And by magic, he means sleep because right. I love my sleep. That's why we chose a design that is very comfortable and calming. The design on this wall, it actually addressed one of the biggest issues that we had with this space is we just needed more storage. So we were able to kind of subtly include that, but I also wanted some textures so it didn't feel too cold. So we actually incorporated 120 year old barn wood that I had had that I'd used for a couple of different renovation projects in the past. And then this whole vibe takes you into the ensuite. It's really cool, come check it out. I really like how this space turned out. It was one of the last rooms in the house that we renovated. We wanted a really nice ensuite, but we didn't have a lot of square footage to work with. We wanted a steam shower, so we enclosed that with glass. It really opens it up. Got a nice big soaker tub. And then over here we have the floating vanity. This is a really special feature. It helps open up the space. We've got a giant mirror and the pendant lights. And then inside these drawers are secret drawers to hide all my stuff, which is fantastic. Right behind me is the walk-in closet. <laughs> it's the one thing about steam showers that people don't tell you. This is like an ongoing job. So for the rest of the second floor, you'll find our kids' bedrooms, and they'll show you those in a minute, but then there's this space. I know, my home office. I love this space. I work from here, organize our little life from here. The kids come up here and do their homework. It's just like a nice open spot for everyone to kind of be, but the biggest thing is all the light that comes in. Yeah, and when we bought the home, it wasn't actually like that at first. There was all these stub walls that blocked it all in, and so we didn't think we would even really use the area. But then we came up with this idea to put in glass railing. Of course, that was way more expensive than we can ever afford. So my dad actually came out and he welded all these metal frames together. We bought the glass panels, we capped it all in walnut, and I think it's probably one of the most effective renovations that we did to this home because it had such an impact on how it all felt. It also made this totally unique. You won't find this in your average suburban community. Welcome to my bedroom. You should feel honored because it's never this clean. My first favorite spot is definitely this walk-in closet where I've made so much memories with my friends and playing with my toys when I was younger. My second favorite spot is this little window ledge, but don't tell mom and dad. 
So as a rebellious teenager, this room is like my sanctuary where I can come, relax, and hang out with my weird animals. Man, he spends so much time up there. Lachlan! Ugh, you don't understand me, Dad! Welcome to my favorite space in the entire home. One of the reasons why I love this basement so much is because I've had so many fun memories with my friends. And plus, we've had some pretty great family nights, watching movies, eating popcorn, and just hanging out. So you can see really why we wanted a walkout basement because it just lets in so much natural light down here. It doesn't feel like a basement at all. And it gave us a couple of opportunities to create like this family room because this home doesn't really have a large bonus room space. So some simple cabinetry across here with the walnut top that then matches in with this wet bar and wine cabinetry that we built on this side kind of gives the space some continuity. And we wanted like a little sense of it being special or kind of cool. So with the accent lighting and just working with the existing fireplace but adding new tile around it, we created this kind of fun hangout area. But if I'm being honest with you, that's not really the way we ended up using it because this is where the kids always were. So this wall where there's like nothing happening on it is Locke's gaming wall. So it's probably his favorite space. Not gonna lie, it's the best. When we bought the home, half of the basement was actually unfinished. And so when we thought about what we needed, we realized we just didn't have enough square footage to do it all in separate spaces. We wanted a guest bedroom, like a fourth bedroom in the home plus a home gym. So we decided to actually combine them and make a couple of really great spaces. And so I really love it in here. It's got RGB lighting on the ceiling, so you can kind of change it to feel like you're working out in like a Peloton workout or something. We also had to finish a new full bathroom for down here, so we made this really cool walk-in shower space, floating vanity, I love how it turned out. So what was it, Tila, like 19 years ago when we bought our first property? And it's funny, because over that time, there's been two recessions, we've bought four homes, we've fixed them up, we sold them, sometimes we were underwater. Sometimes we had to put in a ton of sweat equity just to get our money back. But through all those ups and downs, I would say that the home for our family has been like an anchor. And that was something that you just couldn't put a dollar value on. So you might be wondering what's next for the McCallum family. And it is true, we are leaving Calgary, but just technically. We're actually just gonna head two miles north of here into the community of Bear's Paw, an area that we really love. We have fallen in love with this property for a lot of the same reasons that we fell in love with this house. So we're really excited. It's gonna fit our family a little bit better, but it's gonna be a project. That's right, it's gonna take a lot of work. It's not really our style right now, but I think we're excited about going through the process of making it our own. And I'm curious, would you like to see some of that content as well? Should we take you on the journey? Let us know in the comments. Thanks so much for checking out our house, but um, uh, it's time for you to go. Because we've got a pack. Wait, 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 don't forget to subscribe.